when Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared, the story of what went wrong vanished with it. The answers might be stuck in the flight data recorder, the so-called black box. But what if we had those answers all along? We would know where the aircraft has gone, where it is, uh, and we would have information on uh, what, ha what happened in the meantime. Canadian company Flight makes live streaming data recorders that send information in real time. It's part of a satellite-based system that monitors a plane's exact location, engine conditions, and more. The system transmits every, say, every five to ten minutes on a normal flight. If something goes wrong, like the plane deviating from its route, the system will start streaming live second-by-second -second data. That kind of information is not only life-saving, but it adds a tremendous measure of security for our country. There are several mechanisms that transmit a plane's data, but Hayden says unlike those systems, the technology behind flight is more extensive, sharing a tremendous amount of information. So much information, critics say it could be difficult to monitor and analyze if widely adapted. Right now, flight's technology is only fitted to 350 planes run by 40 operators. It can be installed for about $100,000. Normal data transmission costs carriers between a few dollars to $15 per flight hour and goes up for continuous streaming in a rare emergency. They're very cost sensitive and they simply will not add additional safety measures unless mandated by the federal government. As investigators look for high-tech clues in the search for Flight 370, the high-tech data recorder is getting a second look. The technology exists, uh, it's in service, it's economical, and uh, the question now is how to get more widespread use of it. Lori Siegel, CNN, New York.